This week, it was announced that the Guardian Media Group was hit with a large loss. Indeed, this had been the ninth year in a row that the group has had an operating loss. Now, I have mixed feelings about The Guardian. A lot of their articles really make me grind my teeth, but I can't quite bring myself to want them to go bankrupt. For three reasons. First, I think the broader the range of media available, the better. Second, while I may disagree with the vast majority of their opinion pieces, The Guardian does still do some investigatory journalism, whereas quite a lot of media these days just republishes press releases, changing some of the adjectives to fit their specific biases. Third, some of their headlines are so ridiculous, they do make me laugh. So despite not wanting them to go die in a ditch or anything like that, I am going to have a bit of a dig at them here. Firstly, about their response to running at a loss. They have chosen to cut jobs. This is massively hypocritical, given what they've been saying for years about the UK government's so-called austerity. They've preached time and time again, if you're not making money, the best thing to do is borrow more and spend more. However, that is not what they're doing. They're cutting jobs. Also, despite preaching on tax avoidance, they have in the past avoided tax. Perhaps they'll blame Brexit for their economic woes. Like the Financial Times did. Absolutely unbelievable. That's right, the fall in print advertising has nothing to do with people more and more getting their news sources online, and we could completely forget about the trend going back way before Brexit. I would suggest that John Gapper of the Financial Times really should read The Guardian more often, but I wouldn't want to subject him to stories such as Should we stop throwing sticks for dogs? No. Should we call fish sea kittens? No. Or stories like, I've eaten badger, but I won't eat dolphin, no matter how it died. Does a storm cause more or less pain if it has a human name? Don't let kale ruin your marriage. Life's too short to scrub a gnocchi roller, or a ravioli stamp, or burger press. Never again will I give house room to useless gizmos. And this time, I really mean it. And so much on quinoa. Good, evil, or complicated? Move over, quinoa. Sorghum is the new wonder grain. But please think about the Bolivian farmers. Is tofu bad for the environment? I mean, how do these people live? How to eat a sausage sandwich. Don't forget the plate. But they do also do more serious issues, like can the hashtag save Africa? And when French people are killed, we should not forget the real crime is historic colonialism. Let's get our priorities straight here. Why do you never see a disabled Lego man? Sorry, Lego minifigure. We must stop demonising our neighbours in the sky. Why can straight white men have sex with men without social consequences. I think he's very confused. The story of the virgin birth runs against the grain of Christianity. No, it doesn't. Homeopathy twaddle and pretty much everything Jessica Valenti has ever written. In particular, my favourite is how she's sad her daughter won't know TV commercials. Then get a TV! Remember, feminists, housework can be deadly. The Queen's birthday has unleashed a pernicious new patriotism. Britain, be ashamed of your taste in biscuits. Tea is a disgrace. Do they actually like anything British? The cognitive dissonance is strong here. And sometimes they're just evil, calling the UK to be punished for leaving the EU. I mean, bloody hell. Imagine being brought up by someone who works for The Guardian. Peppa Pig is a feminist and a rabid socialist. You put down rabid animals. But Beatrix Potter? Well, that's just dystopian. What we need is children's literature that deals with the complexities of slavery. Kids need sexy multicultural trains. Yeah, why not just write anything? So you can see why I'm not that surprised The Guardian is making a loss. Taking the piss of The Guardian is as easy as catching sea kittens with dynamite. I'll go back to doing political videos, it's just their austerity hypocrisy was too much to let pass by.